stripers or striped bass are a big part of the fishery here on the Bay of Fundy. I didn't grow up on the Bay of Fundy, so my impressions of striped bass weren't that great. There were always a few things holding me back from wanting to target these fish. First off, I thought you had to use bait, and I hate using bait. And secondly, the few times that I had targeted striped bass, I couldn't steer clear of the small ones. They'd eat my bait every 10 minutes, never giving me a chance to catch a big one. I'm a fly fisherman, and naturally, it just didn't interest me. That was until James sent me a message on Instagram a few months back saying that he knew how to catch the big ones and that he'd take me with him. What's showing? What we got? So what are you looking for on that? Basically those white ticks. The same on the sides as on the sides. Okay, yep. And you can see it more on this bottom there. Small those. But they're all small, so just the most specific ones. <laughs> Some of them bite like they're like 20 pounds up. Yeah, buddy. Let's just say it wasn't long before we started hooking in some smaller fish. Hold him up for the camera. Gotta show him off. Come oh, on, man. Woo! <laughs> 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 tired. <laughs> I think that's a 40. Where'd you catch it on? The old Donald Bob Max special. I think mine's like seven inches, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's still cute. Triple that. <laughs> this is a new record for sure. Oh, that, that might be the smallest yeah today. This fish 150. About that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, cheaper. Okay. Tell him. Bring him. Bring us your daddy. <laughs> yeah, I need your grandfather. <laughs> yeah. Stripers tend to stick to their size class, so after catching a bunch of schoolies, we decided we wanted to chase after some larger fish. Okay. And I don't, I have no frame of reference, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> I could have like a 12 inch on right now. Oh, oh, that's not a bad one. Biggest one I've ever caught. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Nice. Oh, sorry. Hey, yeah. that's a fat one. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hopefully that's the smallest one we see here. <laughs> but see the different, like. Oh yeah, it is. It is a different, different fish, fish, isn't it? Like, like that was the one of the bigger ones we would have caught up there, right? Yeah. There you go. So I'm gonna show you what we're using for flies here. It's pretty simple. James kind of just told me what to go off of. He just said chartreuse works really good and white and just a bunch of these. There's a yellow one here, but it's black. Just bait fish patterns, really. Closer minnows and eels. Simple stuff. But it looks good in the water. And they're hitting them hard. James, he's fishing like a seven inch bait. <laughs> and they're hitting it. <laughs> they're hitting it. <laughs> half the size of them, half of them, but they love it. That decent sized schoolie got me itching for a bigger one and I had a feeling that one was around the corner. Fish. Two minute fight so far. Really? Yeah. Oh! oh yeah. Like high 30s. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, Let's go! <laughs> What do you think it weighs, like roughly? 15? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Can't beat it. <laughs> oh, there's a fly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no man left behind. <laughs> oh, no brainer this time. Oh, purple closer. You Here get it? Nice. Yes. What is it? Nice purple black clouser. Yeah, buddy. Hey, you gotta save that money. That's that's gonna catch a fish. That's you always gotta put it on. If you find a fly, you gotta use it. Stick your finger down there. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. This is wild. It's like we're going over a lot of fish. Oh, man, like the whole time. Just <laughs> fish. We're we going on seven minutes and 39 seconds of us recording the camera. <laughs> no fish. If I turn the camera off, guarantee we'll get one. But, gotta do it for the subscribers. Gotta do it for you guys. <laughs> It's frustrating, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that felt like a good one. Hey. <laughs> It'll buy the old black and purple.
That was a better one. Well, we hit the back end. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> My biggest straight before this is probably like 16 inches, so. This is probably gonna be in the 40s. <laughs> two hands. <laughs> I'm too weak to use one hand. <laughs> Come on. The funny thing is, I'm not even trying to play the fish. I no, can't it's move. like I can't move you're it. Literally <laughs> forcing it. <laughs> well, I just want to see it. Ah, I still can't see it. <laughs> yeah. I haven't even seen Tiffin yet. No. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, bud. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you played me out, man. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> well, biggest stripe I've ever caught. Bloody hands. Got some buddies over here. What do you think? How was it? Pretty good day. We're into them. Nice oh, fish. Yeah. James over here. Netted him. Camera guy. Man. See how the footage turns out. We get too <laughs> we'll excited. see. We'll see. <laughs> I found out. I found out how weak I am. Now I can tell you that right now. Got me good. Well, just got back from the from the trip, and uh, I hope I hope we got some good stuff for you guys. Hope we got some good content. Didn't have Will with me to film this time, but I think James did a good job, and I got a lot of him. So, yeah, it's just trying some different stuff, and yeah, it's my first time really targeting stripers with the fly rod, and I can say it's like it's so fun. Like it is just this time of year, especially where we're at. Like I want to chase trout, but a lot of the rivers here aren't open. And then you have to drive a little ways to get to rivers and this time this, this time of year is like before the sea runs are really in so you, you can get discouraged pretty quick um, especially when you go a couple days and don't catch a lot so just trying to make video for, videos for you guys um i don't want to say that it's all about catching fish because it's not and i don't ever want that to be what this channel is about i don't want it to be about numbers but at the same time i do want to show you guys fish like a few fish at least so it's just a good refresher just to go and catch some bass and, and have a couple good fights and just see, see some fish. And, and yeah, I mean, it's ultimately it's about the experience behind, behind it. And like for fins and tails, like it's about the experience. Like we want to get you guys encouraged to be outside. And like, it doesn't matter if you catch a lot. Um, but yeah, just to go out there and try new things. Like for me, this is my first time catching stripers on fly. And I think it was awesome. It exceeded my expectations. Um, even like James said, sometimes like the ones that we were catching, like sometimes they catch 40 that size. Like sometimes they catch a lot of big ones. Um, but we were lucky to get into a couple big ones. Yeah, I just want to encourage you guys to get outside, try something new, and you never know what will happen. Like just chase those opportunities and just enjoy being outside because ultimately that's what it's all about. It's not about numbers, it's just about getting out there. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.